Hi, your coach Ramchandra Bandekar here and today I am going to share with you 9 ways to become fluent English speaker. But before that, let me share about myself. I studied in Kannada medium and that too in government school. And till 18, I never spoke even a sentence of English with anybody. In fact, all I did and all my friends used to do is by heart, go to the exam hall and finish it off, you know. And then once I joined my engineering, I realized the importance of speaking English. And that's where my journey of becoming fluent started. Fast forward in my career as a speaker, trainer, coach, I have trained more than 75,000 people, not just in India, but all over the world. I have designed 16 different training and coaching programs. I'm a well-known corporate trainer, reputed NLP trainer, well-known uh, hypnotherapist, life coach, business coach. And all these things happened mainly because I developed my English. I became fluent in English. And today I want to share the nine secrets which I used to develop my fluency. So here's the first one. You have to find people who speak fluently or who speak good English. I remember I was just 18 and English was pathetic. So I found some guys from Mizoram and I started interacting with them. And they also knew that my English was not good and they were okay with it. They were comfortable talking to me. And then I found some more guys with whom I spoke only in English. And slowly my English started improving. Slowly I started becoming better. Now, the second thing is this. You have to realize what we call 80-20 rule. Do you know most languages when you learn there are not more than 600 words if you learn you can speak that language fluently uh, that is what is called as the 80 20 rule or Pareto's principle 20 percent of the things leads to 80 percent of the results and 80 percent of the things leads to 20 percent of the results. so if you find the most commonly used words in english and start using them more and more, automatically you will become fluent. And in my YouTube channel on this video, I will be giving 100 commonly used written words and 100 most commonly used spoken words. You can just check it and start using them. Third, start building vocabulary. Vocabulary building is one of the most important thing you can ever do. In fact, uh, I read that book, Word Power Made Easy by Norman Lewis and I started putting all my effort into it and within a month, my English and my vocabulary improved a lot. So, build your vocabulary. And the fourth step is every time you learn a new word, immediately check its pronunciation. See, when you learn a new word, the chances are that all of us, because we are not native English speakers, most of us make the mistake of pronouncing it in a wrong manner. Take example, I used to say garage. There's no such word called garage, right? It's garage. Even the common terms, we pronounce it in a wrong manner. So whenever you learn any new word, immediately identify and understand how it should be pronounced and pronounce it two, three times, repeat it two, three times. And the fifth thing is, most of us, how do we speak? You know, first, we as Indians, we first think in our mother tongue, and then we try to translate it in English, right? That approach won't work. If you want to be a fluent English speaker, then you have to think in English. That's the reason why I told you to build your vocabulary. Why? Every time you learn a new word, you can think in new manner. Isn't it? So that's the reason why 
you have to build your vocabulary now thinking in english is very important the moment you start thinking in english automatically you will become fluent now the sixth step is whenever you watch movies don't watch movies with subtitles stop watching the subtitles and reading the subtitles instead look at them look at the lip movement look at the pronunciation the tonality their body language and try to understand what they are speaking the more you watch them carefully and learn from them the better your english becomes now seventh way to develop fluency is singing that's right singing you identify one or two good songs and sing it just like the way they sing it and two three advantages let me give you one immediately your accent changes when you sing that particular song and second thing is you will feel really comfortable now eight step is what i call the fluency method let's say you heard a sentence immediately you repeat it third record it and then compare with the original once you listen repeat it out loud third record it and compare it with the original everything in fact when once you start doing that you will notice your fluency automatically starts improving and the ninth one this in fact is the most important of all is focus on continuous learning and improvement as long as you are living you have to learn that's how you grow and like this video and share this video so that let your family members and friends also can you know get the benefit so thank you